Hi guys. I know it's been a long time since I made a video and I was working today. So I'm like, why don't I make a video while I'm working? I can sit and talk to myself. <laughs> Might as well, right? No, I wanted to make a video and kind of catch up with everybody. Let me turn my music down. My son's outside mowing the yard while it's still a little cool out so that we have um, a nice yard for the weekend. <clears throat> so, um, while I paint, I'm just going to talk to myself <laughs> and then I'll upload this to my YouTube and if you want to comment, comment, we can chat, whatever. I got a couple things, pretty interesting little tidbits. Um, little baby I'm working on, another little baby. Got a couple things, some big news, a little bit of, not really big, I don't know if it's big news or not. You guys can determine if it's big news or not. It might be pretty lame, I don't know. <laughs> you know, a giveaway baby. I mean, that might be something you want to listen and tune into. <laughs> but that's just one of the things on my agenda today. Um... I have all of my heads that I'm working on outside cooking. <laughs> Here, I'll work on this tummy plate. Um, okay, so first things first. One, we got to talk about this situation with the community as from an artist perspective. Okay. I just want to kind of talk about reborn, the value in reborn dolls, the amount of money that it takes to make a reborn doll and to produce the, a, a finished product with the items that go home with the baby and everything. Um, because I really don't think that people really understand um, exactly what goes into it. They just kind of, they pay the money or whatever for the baby or for the custom. And then they just think that we just snap our fingers and then the baby's painted and you know, bada boom, bada bing. No, this is a hand painted piece of art that I or another artist, there's, there's thousands of artists and even just in the, in the U S alone, let alone in other countries. Um, but if, Um, yeah, so there's, there's plenty of artists out there. I'm sure someone else is probably feeling the same way, but, um, I guess where I was going to go with that was, um, just from like an artist perspective, the community is really changing for many reasons and it's kind of disheartening, um, I've been kind of talking about this on Facebook today and a few people have reached out and commented and we've chatted a little bit. Um, but when COVID happened, there were a lot of people that were out of work and there was also a lot of money that was going around, you know, stimulus checks and tax returns and extra money and unemployment and different things like that, that made some people's living situation easier or better or whatever. So I want to talk about how both of those things have affected um, the reborn artist. With the extra funds and different things that people have had uh, previously, like in the beginning of COVID and, and different things with the extra monies, there was a lot of people buying babies. And that was amazing because it was nothing but wonderful people making their payments on time or paying in full and you know enjoying the process of watching you make the baby and it was just it was it was it was fine it was it was a lot of work I had a lot of work which I'm very grateful for um, any dollar that comes into my home it goes on my kitchen table or on my kids clothes you know on their back um, so every bit is appreciated and I am in no way, shape or form trying to say like, like I don't appreciate my customers because I do above and beyond. 
Um, see, that's just one layer of flesh tone. And this baby is going to be a dark ethnic skin tone. Um, <clears throat> so that, that was that part of it, the, the financial aspect of it. COVID, I think, actually boomed sales in the beginning. Um, but what also happened is that there was an influx of people at home unable to work due to shutdowns and different things that decided that they wanted to try reborning. And I have no issues with that whatsoever because we all start somewhere. I started somewhere. Like I, it's not like I was born doing this. It's not even like I've been doing this for a decade. I haven't been doing it that long, you know? Um, but I did start long before COVID, um, and I invested a lot of money to start too. Um, and it was a long time before I ever actually did custom orders because I don't think that any artist who's just starting or not perfected their skill set should be doing custom orders because anything can happen. Um, but you know, with that, with all the new artists coming in, it has opened up some areas that have been a little stressful because, you know, you've got people coming in that are, that are charging more than artists who have been at this for a lot longer. And these are people that have just started just like in the last six months. I'll just say that, that as a time frame. So like within the last six months, the people that have started, I've seen a lot of them selling their dolls for twice the amount that I do and even other artists that are, you know, doing really well too, even more than those people. Um, and what it does is it, it kind of, it makes this, the, the market for the Reborns unstable. It makes pricing unstable. It makes um, artists like myself have to go, okay, we have to raise our pricing. And our clients that really like our work, they're gonna end up having to pay more now because we have to keep our pricing. Not only do we have to keep our pricing competitive with the marketplace for the, the item that we're making, but also we also have to keep up with our pricing on our skill level so what i mean by that is if you've invested a ton of money and practice and classes and you know the top of the line supplies you know as you get better and better and better and have more tenure as an artist and build up your clientele like it just it goes without saying that you should raise your prices to match your your level of artistry, you know? I mean, obviously, if you don't grow as an artist, I wouldn't say raise your pricing. But if you're growing as an artist, doing more details, um, you know, offering more skin tone options, or you know how to root hair, or you paint hair really well, um, you know, why shouldn't you be able to charge for that? You know, if, if you worked at a regular job, right, um, and you're there for a long period of time and you learn more skills and you're able to do more, um, more things at the place of employment, like you're going to get a raise or you're going to get some kind of recognition for being a hard worker and learning and growing as an employee. Your pay is not going to stay the same for years and years and years. So why should it with this, you know? It's just one skin tone layer. That's a long ways to go. Um, you know, I, with my dolls, and this might be off topic a little bit, but with my babies, how I work is I work when my husband works. So my husband works 40 hours a week. So I work 40 hours a week. I come in my room and I work from about nine o'clock in the morning till anywhere from three, four o'clock in the afternoon. And then I spend at least another maybe hour, hour and a half catching up with messages, people that have sent me messages or people that want to chat or, 
you know, sending work in progress pictures at the end of the day. So I put a lot of time and effort um, into what I do and I do invest a lot of money as well. Um, I've got probably 50 kits in stock. That's not just all Bountiful Baby sale kits either. Nothing wrong with that, but I have sculpts. I have Bountiful Babies. I have, you know, I have a lot of stuff over here that I've invested my own money in. And, you know, speaking of that, I was talking to another artist today and she was telling me how she had a couple kits in stock and someone wanted to have them made as custom order. And she was so excited about it and she was talking to this person, setting up the whole thing, talking about the order, talking about what color, skin tone, talking about the hair, um, and then goes, I can't pay the deposit for two weeks. Can you hold the kits for me? Now, that artist had to pay $120 per kit. Why should she not be able to list that baby as a custom order? Why should she sit and hold somebody a kit for somebody that sh she owes nothing to and who can't even make a small payment in good faith to hold the kits? You know, I, I would never think to ask anybody that. I don't even like at reaching out to certain people that I know their dolls are going to be way more than my price range. If I can't make, like, if I can't pay the doll off, I don't get it. I mean, I, I don't like, I don't like asking for payment plans. I don't like asking for discounts. I don't like, you know, like I actually had someone yesterday Okay, so I sold a Levi Cuddle Baby. And I don't know if I had it listed for free shipping or not, but for some dumb reason, when I was conversating with the person, I said 300 shipped for a Levi Cuddle Baby with beautifully painted hair um, and, a, and a small box opening. When I said, oh my gosh, you know, cause I invoiced her for the baby and the shipping. And she said, why is it 325? Oh man, I forgot, I forgot. I said, I'm sorry. I usually don't offer free shipping because it actually takes me 25 minutes to drive to the post office. I don't, I can't print labels off and just have the postman pick them up. That'd be easy. And then I wouldn't, you know, maybe then I do free shipping all the time. But I, I did say that you know, I did say 300 ships, so I wanted to stand by my word. So I said, okay, my, I'm really sorry about that. Let me go ahead and update your invoice. And I went on there and removed the shipping. And then this person says, awesome, thank you. Um, and by the way, I sent a tip. And I'm like, that's nice. Maybe this person just wanted me to stand by my word with the shipping. And it's not a financial issue. It's just, that's what I said. So that's what I'm going to do. So I, you know, I thanked her and I'm even thankful for what she gave me, but I went on the PayPal, uh, my PayPal account and pulled up the invoice. And so she tipped me $5, which isn't even my PayPal fees. Um, so she paid three Oh five. And I'm not talking crap about her at all. I'm just literally trying to break this down like financially. So, and, and it's because I said that I would ship it included in the price. I did. That was my bad. I should have said <laughs> shipping was not included. Um, especially when I don't have any boy clothes. So today I'm going to have to go out and get outfits to send with it. That's out of my pocket. Like I have to pay to get clothes. You know, I don't get free clothes. Um... And, uh, <clears throat> I go on my PayPal account, pull up the invoice and for a $300 Levi Reborn or Cuddle Baby, when the kit is $115 just for the kit for the Levi, $300 and then PayPal takes like almost $10 for their fee. 
So that brought my earnings down. So then it turned into 200 and 280 or 290. And then by the time I go and get the clothes, that's going to be another 20, 30 dollars. So that brings it down to Two sixty, maybe something like that. Then I have to pay for shipping, which is twenty five. So there's two hundred forty dollars for a cuddle baby. When the body was twenty something, the Levi kit. If you go on there now and look at the price, it's one hundred fifteen dollars for the kit. Plus the painting, like it, I mean, basically she, she paid the money, but she's getting the baby essentially like for free, not for free, but like, I'm not making any money off of that. Like basically is what I'm saying. So it's really just, it's nice to do things for people and, and make it affordable, but at the same time. You know, like, like her want me to stick to the the shipping, which is my word. I should stick by my word, but that, and then her sending me the five dollar tip, and I was just kind of like, is this is this is she trying to insult me, or is she is this just a genuine? You know, maybe she just thought like if the five dollar tip would cover the PayPal fees or something. I I don't I don't really genuinely know. I didn't ask. I just said thank you, and that was it. And Tomorrow I'll be shipping that baby because I'm going to stand by my word. Even though part of me was like, I went online this morning and I saw a real born Cali cuddle baby bald with rooted lashes for $450. And that kit is only a $32 kit. So I felt kind of like, dang, you know, if I was a shady person, which some people are and some people do stuff like this. I would freaking refund her and then relist re the baby for what it's actually worth. But I'm not like that. Even, even times when I've done such deep discounts on custom orders that I'm robbing myself and not getting paid for my time. I don't change anything. You know, like someone asked me to do a custom and I got the wrong kit name and when they sent me the kit, I realized it was a bigger kit and it had a tummy plate. Well, I'd already given the quote and done the, um, the estimate. And when I messaged the person and said, Hey, I didn't realize there was a tummy plate here. This is the, this is the kit I thought you were sending or the, the kit I thought you were sending and versus this one, I don't have a problem doing it, but I do charge extra for my tummy plates. I haven't heard back. I haven't heard a word. I haven't heard, oh, wow, well, you know, how much would it be for the tummy plate? Can you add it to my invoice? Or, you know, if you're doing it without charging me, thank you for doing that. I, I definitely, you know, like those things go a long way. So, I mean, it's kind of like, do you really want to mess with the people that touch your food when you go to a restaurant? Nope. So it's like, okay, if you're gonna dink around I'm gonna dink around and that'll take me longer because then I'll work on other things that I'm getting paid to do instead of working on something that I'm not getting paid to do and that's just me keeping it 100 because nobody works for free nobody nobody if, unless you're doing slave labor in communist China you're you're getting paid to work um but anyway um, so there's that, you know, with the pricing thing. The other thing that people don't know is that the factories that make the sculpts, they're closing down for two months because they don't have supplies to make the sculpts, which means that any kit or sculpt that's on pre-order right now, it's not going to be out for anywhere between five months to a year. And that means that if they run out of the Levi sculpt or they run out of all these popular sculpts that are, you know, whatever, it's going to be a long time before they restock. 
And on top of that, the supplies that make our um, heat set uh, mediums, like this is varnish, I, I can't get this anywhere. And I'm almost out. So I've been having to order little tiny jars like this. And it's so small. And how I varnish my dolls is I varnish first before I start painting. And then I varnish afterwards twice. So one of those containers is enough for one baby this size. So when it comes to this stuff, what I'm trying to get at basically is because of the demand for Reborns and the pricing and supplies going up and bodies not being included in some sculpts and um, just different different things that have, have gone up in price or are hard to find, um, they have caused people to have to raise their pricing. And that's essentially what I'm, I'm gonna be doing here is raising my pricing because there's no way that somebody who just started reborning and don't, don't get me wrong. I know some people can start and they're just amazing right off the bat. So I'm definitely not talking about anybody like that, but, um, yeah, I shouldn't be expected to work for the same pay as someone just starting. And I've been on the job for years and have experience basically. So my pricing is going to be going up. Um, it has to, I mean, I can't even afford to, if I kept doing dolls for $300 for people and all kinds of crazy deals and huge box openings and free shipping and all that, I can't afford to keep doing this. I can't afford it, you know, cause think about it. Wouldn't you rather be spending your summer with your kids if you're not working, if you're not making money? I mean, I know I would. If I'm not making money, I want to be having a good time with my kids and enjoying the summer because life is too short, you know? Um, I mean, I, I'm a hardworking person, so even taking a day or two off is hard for me. So even if my custom orders, you know, ceased, I would still be making babies to sell because um, I just, I can't stand to not work myself. Um... So all that into consideration, that's one thing. Let me fill you in with something good, okay? Because I did say I have some good news, so I'll fit that in here now. On my Facebook nursery page, which is Moon Mama's Nursery, I would find my monogram board, but I don't know where it went. Um, but it's Moon Mama's Nursery on Facebook. I'll link it, I'll put the name in the description or try to link it on the description. Um, I'm going to be doing a Reborn giveaway, free. All you have to do is take one minute, like the post, comment, done, just, just say done or whatever. Like, comment, and share. Every time you like, comment, and share, you'll be entered in one ticket into the raffle or the giveaway. So I'm going to be running it from today. I'll be posting it today. So that's big news. <laughs> All the way until I'll have to, I'll think about it. I'm going to write it. I'm going to post it up on my page so you'll see the time frame but um basically once the time frame is over I will close the post commenting and make it so you can't share it anymore I will be doing a live drawing for the winner and what this is going to be are you ready <laughs> it's exciting it's not just going to be any doll that I want to paint however I want to paint and that's what you get you will have the choice between several kits that I have in stock. You will be able to customize your baby how you like. If you would like an 
if you would like to be able to have one of my ethnic babies and you can't normally have you know afford one great time to to get get in your you know <laughs> like share comment mode and get that baby made in an AA skin tone you know or if if you know whatever color skin tone you wanted you know it's I will be offering several kits for custom order free to the winner so all you have to do is like share comment to be entered if you want to be entered in multiple times share multiple times um you know you can share it in the groups you can share it on your nursery page you can share it on your personal page you can share it anywhere on facebook as long as i'm able to see the shares your name will be added because i'll just click on the thing that will show me who sh who shared the post and all of those names will get entered into the raffle that's how it's going to work um and my reasoning for doing this is because I would like to give back to the community. I would like to do something fun. I would like to do something nice. But I would also, I would like to put myself out there for people that maybe don't know about me and haven't seen my work. Maybe if somebody out here shares my post, the you know, other people will come to my page and see my work and maybe like my work. Maybe not. I don't know. But if they like my work, it might actually bring me some some clients that would like to order babies. And it's a win-win situation for everybody, you know? I, I really love that the community does stuff like this and supporting people because, you know, I did do, uh, on my one-year anniversary, I think, gosh, this was long before COVID. I did a, I did, I did this um, raffle before with, for a free baby, and I did the Skya. The um, it was for the Skya asleep, but then the the winner asked if I could do the awake, and I had the kit, so I just did the awake one. Um, so that one was for a Skya, yeah. So I've done this before, so this will be my second reborn uh, giveaway. So I'm hoping that you know, people will participate. Um, the other thing too is follow my nursery page so that you can see updates um, and any other information that may come out about the giveaway or anything else that may be posted for sale or whatever. If you want to see what's going on there, you know, just go ahead and follow. Um, but yeah, so that's going on. The baby will come home um, with a box opening, the person that wins the baby will be responsible for shipping. And the reason I say this is because I am leaving it open for everybody. This is not just people in the U S this is people anywhere, wherever you are, you just have to pay the shipping to get the baby from me to you. If you live in a country where you have to pay um, you know, taxes or custom fees, that's your responsibility. It's a free baby. So I just want to put that out there that that's the reason why I am doing, you know, winner pays shipping because that's not a fee that comes to me. It goes directly to the post office or whatever carrier that we need to pay to get the baby to you. So I'm doing the work. I got the kits. I got the clothes. I got all kinds of fun stuff to send with the baby. Um, I'll be posting pictures on my page of the different kits that I have um, available that I will be doing the giveaway with to choose from. Um, I'm thinking I'm either going to do the Real Born Alma, a Johanna, or a Darren. Or one kit that was uh, given to me by my best friend. And it's the Evan kit by Eliza Marks. I might do that one. Just because it, it, it is a special kit from my friend. And this um, giveaway will actually be something that will, will be helping me. So I think she would be happy to to know that I've used that kit. But I, the other kits are available. Um, so the winner will be able to pick which one they want to bring home. 
So there's that. Uh, a little bit of exciting to add to the to the drama. Now, I hate drama. I really do. I don't like coming on here and having to talk about this, that, and the thirds going on in the community and all that. No. I don't like gossip. I don't like feeling this way. I don't... You know, I was on my page this morning. I was pretty upset. You know, my personal page. And I mentioned on there, you know, about it. And I actually had a couple people comment. And the comments were pretty... Like a slap in the face. One person said, Oh, there's somebody else that's making babies and they're charging uh, less than you. But then when I see the picture, I'm like... The baby has all flat skin tone, no variation between the hand and the, and the skin on the body or the feet, no detailing. I have veins, mottling, many layers of skin tone, realistic painting. I use Genesis heat set paints. Like for, for anybody to compare someone else's work, it's just a slap in the face really. Because honestly, not everybody's skill set's the same. You know, I mean, you can be an amazing painter and be terrible at rooting. And if that's the case, you should just make your babies without hair. I mean, I've seen some sculpts pretty much be ruined with huge pluggy holes. And if anybody ever tries to read, you know, redo it because it's a sold out kit or whatever, it's like, dang, you can't get rid of those holes, you know? So that kind of, that kind of sucks when you see stuff like that and you're like, dang, when you know that like a sold out sculpt, like say for instance, like a Ramsey or something like that, sold out uh, sculpt, it's gonna be like $300 from some people that collect kits. And then here you are doing such a bang up job. It's like, ugh, just use, use the low, cheaper kits, the sale kits to learn. That's my biggest suggestion to anybody. Once you start making money, then invest in kits and sculpts and stuff and you start gaining your you know uh your um experience and stuff like that you know like i don't know i guess i'm kind of just ranting here i don't mean to be ranting it's just a lot of stuff happened this morning that just i don't know it set with me kind of weird um it made me feel like I need to get out of this business a little bit. And then I had to take a step back and kind of go, okay, wait, maybe I just need to reapproach my business in a different way. Maybe I just need to make some adjustments to my pricing and how I operate and keep going because I do enjoy this. I do enjoy making the babies. Um, I, I really do. And I don't want to have to quit. I don't want to have to put the, you know, not do babies for people. Like, you know, that's, that would suck because I am passionate about what I do. Um, but yeah, so those are the things that I guess I'm ranting about today. Um, you know, the cost of supplies, the short demand on supplies, the cost of the sculpts, the factory is shutting down, you know, it's all impacting a lot of things. And I understand some people are probably like, well, we're talking about dolls here. Like, why are you trying to get rich on making dolls? I'm not truly. I'm just basically trying to make my money back from spending money on the sculpt or the kit and supplies and make minimum wage. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, sell my painted hair dolls for $1,200, $1,800. It's just not going to happen. I mean, unless, I mean, I do know that there are some artists that they've been doing this for years. They've perfected their hair painting. They've perfected their skin tone. They've done prototypes. Yeah, that's not, that's, that's a different ball game. I'm talking about new people or people with the same experience level as me and the same skill set and, you know, or, or were, you know, not as skilled or whatever. I don't know how the word be. I don't mean to sound mean. Um, but you 
you know um yeah it's just been a lot it's been a lot but anyway if you want to participate in my um reborn giveaway um head on over to moon moon mama's nursery and it's m-a-m-m-a-s which i need to find out how to update because that is not how i planned on it being spelled i um actually the funny story behind why my nursery spelled like that is at one point in time when i first was trying to start my actual business page i had someone make me um a really pretty template for watermarking my photos and for my business for, to make business cards and when I sent her my request I spelled it wrong so I was like okay well I guess my nursery name is going to be spelled wrong too because it makes no sense to have a watermark that's spelled different than your actual nursery so that's how that happened um but yeah so you can go there um I will have the post. I'm going to finish up some things here. Go grab my dolls outside and rotate the dolls that I need to bake. Um, and then I'm going to be typing it up and on my nursery page and putting pictures of the kits that you'll have to choose from. And it'll be available today. So you can start today if you want. And then also on my page, I put a... Uh, a post up that basically breaks down my pricing so if you go to my page just to check me out you can actually see an example of my pricing um, and what it would be for XYZ I think I did a couple different scenarios and gave pricing so that's on there too if you're curious about me you better go to my page so you can find out <laughs> Look at this baby. Oh my god. I'm making a I'm making an uh biracial Johanna. And then my best friend's gonna be rooting the baby. And that's a custom order, so it won't be available, but anyway, yeah. That's my rant. I don't know. I think I kind of went off topic a little bit and went on to some other things, but I'm here, I'm working, I just wanted to chat make a video I may be making another video to talk about some other things but we'll see how I feel <laughs> all right guys you guys have a good day bye